Hey there guys, it's Michael here, and this video is brought to you by the letter L. L for legato. Yes, I've still got this broken finger. It's gonna be five more weeks until I can take this cap off, and then hopefully the tendon has actually reattached itself back to the end of my knuckle joint there, and things will be smooth sailing. But if not, maybe surgery, who cares? We're just gonna make the most of the situation, and when life gives you lemons, you play a legato on your guitar there. So guys, I'm gonna dive straight into it and I'm gonna teach you this lick if you have a really short attention span, which you really should work on because the key to success is your ability to focus on boring things over and over for long periods of time. It's through repetition that you grow. But if you have a short attention span, I'm gonna dive right into teaching you the lick. And then for those of you who have a long attention span and wanna figure out how we created the lick and how you can use this one idea and turn it into at least six more ideas, and get a lot more out of it, milk it for all it's worth, then you guys stay tuned beyond the first two minutes of this video. So here's the lick one more time. And nice and slowly for you. So what I'm doing on string number one is I'm playing fret seven, I'm pulling off to fret three, hammering onto fret five, hammering onto fret seven, pulling off to fret five, pulling off to fret three. So it's a six note, one, two, three, four, five, six, a six note fragment. And what you need to do is work on that in isolation. Seven, three, five, seven, five, three. Seven, three, five, seven, five, three. Now, when you play it on multiple, uh, on a single string, it sounds very Malmsteen-y. It's like that neoclassical Alberti bass kind of pattern. We're doing it on one string. Then we do the same frets on string number two. So we're kind of doing the top of a Locrian mode shape, if you know your three note per string shapes. If you don't know them, I'll do a video on them shortly. Then we've got seven, uh, seven, four, five, seven, five, four. On string three, the same thing, seven, four, five, seven, five, four on string four. Then we've got seven, three, five, seven, five, three on string five. And the same thing on string number six. So when you put it together or individually, I'll do each one three times. And you probably need to practice it for a fair while. Just building up the legato speed and fluency there. And the same thing on the second string. Now normally I have the side of my thumb, I'll show you up close, resting on the strings below or above, depending on how you think about the guitar, above the ones that I'm picking. And I have my second finger come and touch the strings below so that as I do this legato, I'm not gonna get all the extra string noise if I accidentally touch the other strings. My middle finger is a bit rubbish from not being used at the moment, so I'm only using the thumb to mute. But I've got string number one, same thing on string number two, same thing, oh, string number three, seven, five, and four. Same thing on string four. String five, we're back to seven, five, and three. String number six, we're on seven, five, and three. One more time, slowly all together. And then fast. So it's got quite a big stretch, and if you're, you're really struggling with the stretch, you can come up to essentially fret 12 and fret 8. And it's gonna be a lot easier on the fingers if you move it higher up the fretboard. Now, walking you through that actual sequence itself. So what I'm doing is a six note fragment. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think of any three note per string scale as the left notes, the middle notes, and the right notes. So I'm going right, left, middle, right, middle, left. Right, left, middle, right, middle, left. And it doesn't matter which three note per string pattern I do, it's still that pattern. Right, left, middle, right, middle, left. So I can move that sequence around. And I'm just applying that sequence to a descending pattern through a scale. Now, if I went up the G Ionian three note per string shape, I would get this. If I descended that scale shape, I would get this. So if you do that scale sequence, apply that sequence to that scale, it works out absolutely fine. 
but inspired by Joe Satriani, where I pinched this lick from, he likes to basically combine the top note of the Locrian three note string pattern, which is going two, three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five, two, four, five, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. So he's taken the three, five, seven on the first two strings, and then he's segued into the Ionian pattern, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. So he's not doing the true three note per string pattern, he's kind of hybridizing two shapes. Why this is important to know is because then you can go, well, here's the Dorian pattern. But instead of doing the shift here on strings two and three, I'm gonna take the top of the Ionian pattern and I'm gonna attach it to the Dorian pattern. Or I'm gonna take the top of the Dorian pattern and attach it to the top of the Phrygian pattern and go. So the important thing here is if you realize how he's constructed the lick there, you can take that concept and then you can go and create a whole bunch more licks out of it. Now, I'm a big proponent of more is more, yeah? More notes is more licks. But I think the true application of less is more is how do I get more ideas out of less brain power? If you can take one concept and apply it to seven different major scale uh, three note per string patterns, then you've got seven licks or seven little legato runs you can do. If you reverse it and go up the scale, I made a mess of that, but I'll do it slowly. Then I've got seven more patterns. So I've got 14 essentially licks out of one idea. And if I shift that to harmonic minor, then I've got another 14 possible combinations. If I shift that to melodic minor, I've got another 14 possible combinations. So three times 14, what do we got? Like 40, 41 or something, 42, 42. You get 42 licks out of one idea just by moving it through seven different shapes of the major scale modes and the seven different harmonic minor scales and the seven different melodic minor scale patterns. And then of course, if you invert the pattern, you can do things. So theme and variation, but that's a, a topic for a whole nother video. But anytime you learn a lick, don't just learn it in isolation. Think, what can I do to get more out of this and really squeeze it for everything it's worth? Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this short, sharp version. If you did, uh, leave uh, a comment below. If you, there's something you wanna learn about, just tell me what you wanna learn. I will personally respond to every single comment. Comment, hey, I'm having problems with this. How do I fix it? And I'm, I'll do a personalized video for you or I'll just make a lesson here on YouTube. So I wanna help out guys. Thank you so much. If you found it helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.